300 AM at Glamorgan 229 and 192 for 5 Salmon 70 Beat Ken 302 Demley 152 Hogan 444 and 115 Rouse 44 Hogan 643 by 5 wickets Glamorgan chalked up their third win of the Spexiverse County Championship campaign with more than a day to spare after reaching 192 for 5 in Canterbury to inflict a first home defeat of the season by 5 wickets upon a weary and downcast Kent side. Having dismissed the hosts for a meagre 115 in their second innings, Glamorgan made the best of starts to their pursuit of a 189-run victory target when openers Nick Selman and Connor Brown posted 96 the best partnership for any wicket in the match. Brown ought to have departed with 15 to his name when Darren Stevens downed a regulation slip catch off the bowling of Callum Haggett, then Haggett was again the luckless bowler when Selman, on 64, was dropped by Zach Crawley at third slip. Brown finally went for 33 to Haggett, caught it point at the second attempt by substitute fielder Ole Robinson, then, with his score on 70. Selman flated a wide one from Stevens to be caught behind for his 62nd first-class wicket and a carabist season's haul. With his next ball 41-year-old Stevens pegged back Kyron Carlson's off stump via an inside edge then, just before T, Jack Murphy flayed a wide one to Zach Crawley in the gully to give the Kent veteran five wickets in the match. Only ten balls after T Chris Cook drove a return catch to left-arm spinner Imran Kayyam, so it was left to David Lloyd who scored a pugnacious and bit in 35 to see his side over the win line with a slog swift six off Kayum. Admittedly, conditions on day three fell with outrageous good fortune in Glamorgan's favor they bowled on a steamy overcast morning and batted under blue skies all afternoon but for Kent it was pretty much all gloom and doom as their last day's action of the season ended with a second championship defeat of the summer and their first red ball defeat to Glamorgan on home soil since 1992 Glamorgan secured an eight-wicket victory in an experimental pink ball, four-day game here in 2011. Dot at the start of the day, one-time promise on Shizers Kent resumed on their overnight score of 98 for six of lead of 171, and with top scorer Adam Rouse, the county's understudy wicketkeeper and substitute for Sam Billings, at the crease. But home hopes of setting a testing 200-plus target were soon quashed as Kent lost their last four wickets for nine runs in the space of 26 balls. Haggett started the collapse, aiming an ambitious push drive at the ever-consistent Michael Hogan. Haggett played outside an off-cutter that darted down the Canterbury slope to pluck out middle stump and give Hogan the wickets. Rouse's resistance ended for 44 when he toe-ended an attempted pull against Lucas Carey to mid on. Then, five balls later, Carey struck again by having Kent debutant Grant Stewart caught in the court in by former Kent second side batsman Nick Selman. Hogan polished it off by having last man Imran Kayum caught behind for a first ball duck to finish with six for 43, and Carabist match figures of 10 for 87.